Uh, it is 448 as we take a live look over the skies of Indianapolis. This is looking the southwest way, which is why you can see Lucas Oil Stadium mm -hmm. sitting right there. You can still see a few decorative clouds out there this morning. Mm -hmm. And Marcus, as we ended this first official weekend of summer, yeah. we saw a lot of different things well, in yeah. the last 12 hours. Yeah, I mean, it had been a long time, not only since we'd actually had rain, mm -hmm. but a legit chance for strong thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. We have to go back to the last kind of tornado outbreak we had into March, early April. I mean, it's been that long since we had a significant severe weather event, thankfully. Uh, but boy, did it pack a punch. My goodness. I think it's kind of why some of us were caught off guard because it's been so quiet. Well, it so has long. been. Well, and it was a Sunday, too, yeah. right? You know, a lot of people were doing stuff outside yeah. on the first weekend of summer. Uh, when official rain, I want to start with that first. It wasn't great in terms of the numbers for as much pop as some of those storms had. Um, you didn't get a whole lot. Maybe just shy of a quarter of an inch in Indianapolis. Now, some areas did do a little better, about three quarters of an inch around Muncie and South Bend. Much higher amounts down in southern Indiana. I know at my house, where we weren't far from the Johnson County tornado, we picked up four one-hundredths of an inch of rainfall for the two systems, essentially, that moved through yesterday. Just want to take a quick look back this was the radar with the tornado that rolled through in the new whiteland area you can definitely see a bit of a debris ball there and that was from some of that debris getting lofted up from some of the businesses and homes that were damaged in that bargersville new whiteland center grove area and i just want to put in perspective for you here now we don't have an official track as the weather service will go out later today but the tornado that happened yesterday, kind of in this area here, all right, that's where a lot of our damage is going to be in that stone crossing area. I just want to put in perspective where the Whiteland tornado happened. This was on uh, March 31st, so it wasn't too far away there, just to kind of put in perspective if you're not real familiar with the Johnson County area there. So we'll have an official track hopefully by later today, but this is, you're only talking about a couple of miles uh, between those storm tracks. So it's been a it's been a rough season down in Johnson County, no doubt about it. The rest of the reports were mainly hail reports. We do have some funnel cloud reports up around the Cicero area in Sheridan from yesterday, but thankfully no reports of uh, damage or a touchdown with that system yesterday. It is going to be a much more quiet day today. We're at 69 now, southwest wind at 8 miles per hour. Showers are up to the north around Fort Wayne, and that's pinwheeling around this low that was responsible for the severe weather yesterday as that cold front now marches south and east. The strong storms now making their way into the Carolinas. So we're going to get some cooler temperatures rushing through today. We're at 70 at 8 o'clock, so it's mild, yes, but we're not going to move a whole lot today. 75 at noon, and I think we'll make it to the upper 70s later on today. I do think a few spotty showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, possible later on this afternoon. Future casts as we go hour by hour, you can see some of these spotty showers through midday. And then with the heating of the afternoon, again, very hit and miss. Don't cancel plans. Most areas are going to be dry. No severe weather expected. Once the sun sets, we're quiet through the overnight hours. We're partly cloudy then when you wake up tomorrow morning. And I think Tuesday actually should be a wonderful day because we'll be rain free and we'll have very comfortable temperatures. Upper 70s and lower 80s. We'll look at mid 80s on the way for Wednesday. And that's going to be the beginning of temperatures surging as we go into the late week. Maybe some storm chances returning to late week. Thursday, late rain chances, 87. We're back to the 90s with showers and storms. Friday, upper 80s. Saturday and mid-80s on the way for Sunday to wrap up the